Hey, what's up guys, Steve here. And today we're gonna take a look at the 50 highest selling 1960s and 1970s baseball cards from the PWCC weekly auction that ended on November 5th. And we'll kick today's list off at number 50 with this 1961 Topps Roberto Clemente, card number 388. This was an SGC3 and it sold for $96 even. We're sticking to the 1961 Topps Baseball set at number 49 with this Bob Davis card number 246. This was a PSA 9 and it also sold for $96. Up next at number 48 is this 1960 Topps Willie Mays, card number 200. This was an SGC 2.5 and it sold for just over $100. Coming in at number 47 is this 1965 Topps Cookie Rojas, card number 474. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $103.20. Up next at number 46 is this 1961 Topps Roger Maris, card number 2. This was an SGC 5, and it sold for $110.40. We get our first baseball card from the 1970s at number 45 with this 1978 OPG Mike Schmidt card number 225. This was a BVG 9.5 and it sold for $150. We're back to the 1960s at number 44 with this 1965 Topps Brooks Robinson, card number 150. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $150. Hank Aaron makes his first appearance on today's list at number 43, with this 1964 Topps Hank Aaron, card number 300. This was a PSA 4, and it also sold for $150. Roberto Clemente is back at number 42, this time with his 1972 Tops in Action, card number 310. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $156. Up next at number 41 is this 1975 Topps Larry Hardy, card number 112. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $162. We're back to the 60s at number 40 with this 1960 Topps Joe Gordon, card number 216. This was a PSA 9, and it also sold for $162. Up next at number 39 is this 1969 Topps Raleigh Fingers Rookie, card number 597. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $174. Coming in at number 38 is this 1967 Topps The Champs featuring Frank Robinson, Brooks Robinson, and Hank Bauer, card number one. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $180. 
Roberto Clemente is back at number 37, this time from the 1964 top set with card number 440. This was an SGC5 and it sold for $186. Mickey Mantle makes his first appearance on today's list at number 36 with his 1966 tops card number 50. This was a PSA 2 and it sold for $192. Up next at number 35 is this 1977 OPG Robin Yount card number 204. This was a BBG 9.5 and it sold for just over $200. Coming in at number 34 is this 1965 Topps Pete Rose card number 207. This was a PSA 5.5 and it sold for $210. Up next at number 33 is this 1964 Topps Brooks Robinson card number 230. This was a PSA 8 and it also sold for $210. We get another New York Yankees legend at number 32 with this 1963 Topps Yogi Berra card number 340. This was an SGC7 and it sold for $216. Hank Aaron makes another appearance on today's list at number 31 with his 1971 Tops card number 400. This was a PSA 7 and it sold for $300 even. And we welcome another newcomer to today's list at number 30 with this 1961 top Stan Musial card number 290. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $300 even. Up next at number 29 is this 1964 top Sandy Koufax World Series Game 1 card number 136. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $324. Coming in at number 28 is this 1974 Topps Hank Aaron All-Time Home Run King card number 1. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $348. Roger Maris makes another appearance on today's list at number 27, this time from the 1960 Topps baseball set with card number 377. This was an SGC 8 and it also sold for $348. Nolan Ryan makes his first appearance on today's list at number 26, with his 1968 Topps Mets Rookies Rookie Card, card number 177. This was a PSA 1.5 and it sold for $360. Up next at number 25 is this 1964 Topps AL Bombers, card number 331. This was an SGC 8 and it sold for $372. Coming in at number 24 is this 1960 Topps Carl Ustremski Rookie card number 148. This was a PSA 6 
and it also sold for $372. Up next at number 23 is this 1966 Topps Don Sutton rookie, card number 288. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $384. Coming in at number 22 is this 1966 Topps Fergie Jenkins rookie, card number 254. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $408. Mickey Mantle makes another appearance on today's list at number 21, this time from the 1962 Topps baseball set with card number 200. This was a PSA 4, and it also sold for $408. Make that back-to-back -back Yankees to kick off the top 20 with this 1961 Topps Yogi Berra, card number 425. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $420. Up next at number 19 is this 1968 Topps Rod Carew, card number 80. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $432. Coming in at number 18 is this 1964 Topps Phil Nicro Rookie, card number 541. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for just short of $500. Tom Seaver makes his first appearance on today's list at number 17 with his 1969 Tops card number 480. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $516. Make that back-to-back -back appearances for Tom Seaver at number 16 moving one year forward from the 1970 Topps baseball set with card number 300. This was an SGC 9 and it sold for $540. We get another rookie card at number 15 with this 1964 Topps Tommy John rookie card number 146. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $600 even. Make that back-to-back -back rookies at number 14, this time with this 1965 Topps Steve Carlton rookie, card number 477. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $630. Up next at number 13 is this 1963 Top Stan Musial card number 250. This was a PSA 8 and it also sold for $630. Coming in at number 12 is this 1966 Topps Jim Palmer rookie card number 126. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $810. Up next at number 11 is this 1965 Topps Joe Morgan rookie, card number 16. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $870. Johnny Bench makes his only appearance on today's list to kick off the top 10 
with his 1969 Tops card number 95. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $930. Up next at number 9 is this 1967 Topps Brooks Robinson card number 600. This was a PSA 8 and it also sold for $930. And we get our first of only 3 rookie cards to make the top 10 of today's list starting at number 8 with this 1974 Topps Dave Winfield Rookie, card number 456. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $1,260. Up next at number 7 is this 1963 Topps Hank Aaron, card number 390. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $1,500 even. Coming in at number 6 is this 1963 Topps Mickey Mantle card number 200. This was a PSA 5 and it sold for $1,590. And Willie Mays makes another appearance to kick off the top five with his 1964 Tops card number 150. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $1,620. Nolan Ryan makes another appearance on today's list at number four, this time from the 1971 Tops baseball set with card number 513. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $1,650. Up next at number 3 is this 1964 Topps Mickey Mantle, card number 50. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $3,360. Pete Rose makes another appearance on today's list at number 2, this time with his rookie card from the 1963 Topps baseball set with card number 537. This was a PSA 7, and it sold for just short of 5 grand. And topping off today's list at number 1, is this 1969 Topps Reggie Jackson Rookie, card number 260. This was a PSA 8.5, and it sold for $9,000 even. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.